Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Microphone check. Microphone. Hello, Andrea. How are you? Nice. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Good job. Is it raining where you live? Yes, a little bit. All right. Over here, it already stopped. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Andrea. Hello, Angel Isaac. Hello, hello, Nuria. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I feel great. Very good. Are you ready for your English class? Yeah, of okay. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and jump right in. Good evening. Good evening. We need to move forward because we already finished with the first week. Uh, hello, Maria. How are you? Uh, very well. I'm just coming to my house. Ah, okay. Good. Good, good. Hello, Dennis Adonai. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Good, good. Martin de Jesus. Luis Miguel, what's going on? Cindy, Nayeli, how are you? Good evening, everybody. Good, good evening, evening, good evening. All right, who can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? What information can you remember from the previous class? Vocabulary, yeah, pronunciation, grammar. What do you remember? Counters and no counter the things. Good job, Luis Miguel. Nice. Countable and uncountable nouns. Can you give me an example of a countable noun? The stars. Stars. Okay. Uncountable. Sugar. Sugar. Hey, sugar, sugar. <laughs> oh, honey, honey. <laughs> I love Are, that song. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Me I love too. it too. Oh, sugar, sugar. Oh, honey, oh, honey. honey, honey. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, countable noun. Book. Book. Correct. Book. Uncountable. Water. 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 <laughs> Good job. Countable. Chairs. Yes. Table. All right. Chair. Table, uncountable. Love, love, yeah. love. Did somebody say love? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> who, who said love? Luis. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's it, not uncountable. It's <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> love. It's love. Very good. Yeah. I, ha I hadn't thought about Luis. that. Uh huh. Love. His daughter. Yeah, for your daughter, <laughs> your your family. All right, another uncountable. Sold. Huh? Sold. Salt. Did you say salt? Salt, salt. okay, salt, good, good. Countable. iPhone. Huh? iPhone. Ison, what is that? Oh. iPhone. Cell phones. iPhone. Cell phone. Oh, cell phones. Uh, okay, cell phones. Cell phones. Cell phone. Okay. Uncountable. Rain. What? Rain. Rain. 
Rain. Rain. Rain. Rain. Rain. Uncountable. Rain. Okay. Countable. People. People. Party people. Party people. All right. People. Uncountable. Air. Air. Good job. Countable. Uh, the sky. Mm, the sky oh, is this, countable. This is countable. Cars. Is countable. Oh, cars. cars. Okay, cars is countable. Uncountable. Oxygen. Oxygen. <laughs> Oxygen. Oxygen. Correct. Oxygen. <laughs> countable. Pants. Oh. Rice. Pants. Uncountable, countable, pants is countable. Rice is uncountable. uncountable. Good, countable. Eggs. Eggs. Uncountable. Beer. Beer, okay, thank you, Cindy. Beer is uncountable oh. because it's a liquid. Uh huh. No. Huh? I'm thinking about. No, there's a picture of some beer. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking about, about Friday. Oh, Friday night beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. All right. I another know. one countable. Friends. 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 Yeah. You gotta count your friends very, very wisely, counting. very carefully, yeah. very yeah. carefully. Teacher, okay. Um, yes. Friendly. No, Maybe friendly. Is friendly is an adjective. Friendly oh, okay. is an adjective. It's a personality adjective. And uncountable. Uncountable money. money. Good job. Money is uncountable. All right. I understand. You you see, you have a good understanding of the countable and uncountable. So this is the the topic that we were looking at yesterday in yesterday's class. At this moment, do you guys have any questions? Hey, Nuria, please put your microphone in silence. Thank you. Uh, at this moment, do you guys have any questions about the countable, uncountable topic uh, or vocabulary in this area? No? Nobody? Anybody? You body body? Everybody? Somebody? Can, can, you, can you repeat, please? Uh, do you have any questions about this topic? Questions no. about countable words, uncountable words, vocabulary words, uh, pronunciation? No. Everything is all right. Okay, Everything good job. Everything is all right. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Luis. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, move forward. I know that it's been a very busy week for you, You're going to work, English class, family, homework, platform, Mr. Santos. I know, I know, but uh, at the end of the day, you're going to have big benefits, right? Because every sacrifice has a reward. Yeah. So let's look at the first, uh, this is the activity that we were doing yesterday. I would like for us to go to the knowledge check is uh, section number 2.2, .2, knowledge check. Let me have Maria, give me the answer yeah. for, Maria, tell me. Yeah. Number one, which of the following options is not accountable now. Um, parking. Bus is countable. Uh, is Subway line. Hola, Fernando. Buenas noches. Solamente. Uh, 
que se conecta a la clase, por favor. Hello. Um, I say, I say parking. Oh, I think Paola Vaya, is talking. What's going on, Paola? You have your microphone I, off. I mean, you have your mute off. I think it's a call. Thank you. Okay, so we say which of the following options is not a countable noun? Bus, subway line, we said parking. A parking. A parking. A parking. So which of the following options is not a countable noun? Bus. Buses, subway line, subway lines, parking, okay. Number two, Luis. Okay. What's our um, example of no counts? Non-count, non-count. Uh, non three, non -count. three options. Water. 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 Rebecca, you're going to do number three. Water. Air. Air. Uh, wood. Wood. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Rebecca, number three, please. Sería uh, desk, camera. What? Some examples Book. of countable nouns. Okay, desk. What are some? Three options. Camera and book. And book. Perfect. Perfect. Sugar and coffee are uncountable. Good job. Good job. Number four. Let me see. Number four. Andrea. Dayanara. I think that is the first. Okay. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? The first one. The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. The buses are new, but they are in, in a bad condition. There are too many buses. What is your answer? The first, the buses cause too much pollution because they are old. Excellent. Excellent. Or you can also say there are too many buses. Okay. Or you can say the buses are new, but they are in bad condition. All of them are acceptable, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. All of them are, are acceptable answers, All right? The All the options All the are acceptable. But let's select only one and this, this one. Okay. Number five, Angel Isaac. My opinion is little big because okay. there are too many cars. All right. Why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many bicycles? No. No. Because there are too many cars, maybe. Yeah. Because there are too many pedestrians, <laughs> no. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Good job. Any questions? Any questions? No questions? No, we don't have. Okay. Eh, la razón por qué me gusta, guys, que lean los ejemplos y lean las preguntas es para que escuchar su pronunciación y así poder corregir. Ese es el objetivo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's continue. Lesson 2.3.
continue building English conversational skills by learning English expressions of quantity. We're going to be looking at quantity. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will be able to discuss transportation services using adverbs of quantity, including enough, many, fewer, and more. Practice incorporating expressions of quantity in phrases such as there aren't enough buses or we need more public transportation. There should be fewer cars and there isn't enough parking downtown. So, aquí están los quantifiers, eh, enough, eh, more, fewer, enough. Those are some examples of the quantifiers. Any questions about the quantifiers? Questions about the quantifiers? No, teacher. Okay. No. Okay. Let's take a look. I'm going to share the audio. Please listen. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express Escuche problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non count now, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present the structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say we have too many cars. And let me go ahead. As I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. OK, um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors um, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. And that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have too many cars. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now. So we use there plus aren't, and then this is going to follow the expression enough. And 
and what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cars. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject. Then we need should. After that, we're going to need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's going to be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say there should be fewer cars, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should, and then this is, will be followed by a verb. It can be the verb to be, but it can be other verbs as well. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count now that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. And these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city. And the other example that I haven't talked about, we need more subway lanes. That is kind of like a stronger opinion, so it's no longer a suggestion, if you will. Um, but it's, it's something similar. And so um, it's quite similar. We're going to say we. The only difference is that we don't include a model bird, right? We need more, and in this case, subway lines. What I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city, but now I'm going to do it with non-count nouns. And so what I would like for you to notice is the difference, right? We, we discussed how to express problems with count nouns. For example, we said there are too many cars. And what I want you to notice is that with non-count nouns, we're going to use different words. So for example, instead of too many, we will use too much. Instead of fewer, we will use less. Um, we can use more for count nouns as well as for non-count nouns. So as you can see the example there, we need more subway lanes. That's accountable. We need more public transportation. That's a non-countable. Um, and enough is the same way. There aren't enough buses. There isn't enough parking. Um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always going to treat no countable nouns as singular, even though we might be talking about uh, more things. So let me try to present some structure there so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we can say there is too much traffic and what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose and there's our example we have a subject that is followed by the verb and then this is followed by either too much or enough and then we have a non count now so the example there is too much traffic let me give another quick example there is too much, and I'm going to say pollution. Um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. There isn't enough parking. And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model verb, okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less, and we're going to say pollution. Um, I'm going to change these words now, and instead of too much or not enough or, or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. 
it's going to be followed by the model verb should, and then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be, it can be something else. And then either less or more, and whatever non count that exists. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learn. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. And I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non count nouns. And remember that if you are going to use count nouns, you're going to use expressions such as too many, fewer, or more. And if you're going to use non count nouns, then you're going to use expressions such as too much, less, or more. And so here's a quick guide of what I would like for you to do. I want you to tell me about your city. Okay, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer. Maria! Ding, 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 ding! Good job, Maria. Okay. Andrea, you are going to be number two. Right now we have Maria. Maria, I would like for you to uh, give me some examples using the mm. six expressions. The, the city should provide more what? The more security. Okay. The city should provide more, more security. Okay. Number two, Maria. Number two. We have too many, too many cars. Mm -hmm. Or we have too many cell phones. All right. Uh, there's too much traffic. Mm -hmm. There is enough. Uh, um, there is enough. Uh, uh, um, bicycles. Mm -hmm. Bicycles. Um, bicycles. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, ways. Ways to bicycle. Ah, you can say, for example, there isn't enough. Ah, no, there aren't enough bicycle lanes. Ah, bicycle vías lanes. para ciclismo. No yeah. hay suficientes vías para ciclismo. There yeah. aren't, there aren't enough, enough. enough. Ahí sería bicycle así. Lanes. Hold on, lo voy a escribir. There. there. Everybody pay attention. There aren't enough, enough uh, bicycle lanes. No hay suficiente vías de ciclismo. Okay. Good. Good. Maria. Good. There should be. There should be fewer. Fewer. Um, Yo tengo una, pero no la voy a decir. <laughs> bars. 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 There should be fewer bars. It's really? Yeah, it's too many drunk yeah. people, young people drunk. O sea, sometimes, okay. sometimes I like, I like to go jogging in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah. And sometimes uh, Saturday, no, hell no. Uh, Saturday morning, a las seis de la mañana, todavía están los, los jóvenes bolos. In the pasaje, desde la noche, I'm like, come on, man. What's up with you, man? You're young. Yeah, young, young guys. Yeah. 18, 19, 20. You know, in the street, but, in the bus stop, in the bus stop. Okay. 
Very drunk. Young. Very, young. Very young. Yeah, yeah. It don't make yeah. so I say there should be fewer bars. Fewer bars. More gyms. Uh-huh. There should be less. Uh... <laughs> Burn <laughs> drunk people, yeah. Drunk, drunk people, <laughs> there should be less drunk I people. Think, I think, <laughs> okay, I think the same, <laughs> okay. But okay. I can, I, <laughs> I okay, can say, okay, okay, good, good. Yeah. All right, thank you, Maria. Let me have Andrea, okay. The city should provide more um, security. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have too many accidents. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not uh, uncountable now, I think. Too many you accidents. Can, well, yeah, well, we have too many accidents. Many is countable. What, what many, mm -hmm. many is countable. We have too mm -hmm. many accidents. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's too much uh, accidents. No, no puede decir much accidents y mm -hmm. many accidents. Porque okay. accidents is countable. One okay. accident, two mm -hmm. accidents, three okay. accidents. Solo se puede usar con many. Okay. Many accidents. Because There's it's too much contamination. Okay, good. Too much mm -hmm. contamination. Eh, too much mm -hmm. oh, oh. smoke. Smoke. Okay. Yeah. Smoking. Smoke. Yeah. Smoke is uncountable. There aren't enough. No, luminaires. there isn't enough. There isn't enough. Isn't enough. Isn't enough luminaires. Luminaires. What is luminaires? Like lights in the street. Ah, okay. Eso sería. Eh, there aren't. Aren't enough. 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 Ahí sería light posts. Light posts. Okay. There aren't enough. Enough. Enough light. Posts. Good. Good. There aren't enough light posts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There should be fewer. Mm, I don't know. There should be fewer. Mm, maybe. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cars, I, I cars, 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 mm -hmm. right there <laughs> should be, should be fewer, fewer cars. Uh -huh. Demasiado carros. Okay. There should be less trash. There should be less trash. Good. There should be less trash. Excellent. Okay, good job. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to take a little break from this activity uh, because I have to take the attendance. It's already 9.36. Uh, Kenya Roxana, buenas noches. Pero... So... Okay, thank you, Kenya. Thank you. All right, when I call your name, please say, Presente por la patria, the English class. <laughs> All right, let me have it's only Thursday. It's only Thursday. I don't drink, so I'm okay. Eight to nine, eight to ten. Yeah, gracias a Dios, ya super is nine to ten. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. Trying to connect it in my turn. Okay. No sé por qué no me deja acceder 
can't be reached. Okay. Uh, one moment, guys. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the uh, attendance sheet. Uh, control de asistencia. No se puede. Okay. Sorry, guys. Wait, I have to report this. Uh, hello, hello. Ahí va, ahí va. Got it. Esto está raro. Okay, sorry. All right, when I say your name, I want you to say presente, Andrea Dayanara. Presente por la patria de la English class. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I like that. Today is Thursday. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda. Present teacher. Excellent. Angel, Isaac. Good job. Byron, Giovanni. Byron, Giovanni. Ven a Byron por aquí. No, absent. Dennis, Adonai. Present. Excellent. Hi, Ling. Present teacher. Very good. Catering. Present. Excellent. Kenya, Roxana. Good evening. Good evening. Present. How are you? Kenya. Hi, thank you. <clears throat> Very good. Kenya Yamilet. Present. Awesome. Luis Miguel. I am here, sir. Very good. Maria. I'm here. Awesome. Martin. Present teacher. Very good. Moises. All right. Nayeli. Present. Thank you. Nuria. Present. Awesome. Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you. Cindy. Here. Excellent. All right. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to move forward. We're going to take a look at the next activity, which is going to be coming from the next section. We're going to be looking at section number 2.5. Read the instructions for each exercise. So you're going to do one through five. I'm going to give you three minutes at the next tres minutos. And I want you to do the activity in pairs. Si ya la hizo, voy a compartir la habilidad que puedan compartir sus pantallas. Perdón. Y eh, apoye su compañero. Teamwork. Teamwork. Trabajo en equipo. If you already did it, help your partner. If you didn't do it, do it together. Any questions? No, everything is clear. Thank yeah. you, Julia. Thank you, Rebecca. All right, let's do it. Questions, questions, questions. 
All right. Vamos. Tiene que darle join o entrar. Join o entrar. Si está de oyente, puede entrar y solo estar de oyente. Yo estoy intentando, pero no logro entrar a la plataforma. Uh, well, I, I really did, but it, it shows the correct answer. So uh, somebody else can show the screen. Oh. Do you have? Uh, can you see? Yes. Okay. Okay. Is this the right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Two point five, I think. Ah, oh. I. Oh. Ya, ya la tengo razón. No, two point two. No, two point five. Eh, también. Yeah. Uh -huh. I already did too. Eh, no sé, alguien no la tendrá. Re, no, no la. Ángel, la tendrá maybe. O, o María. María. Ah, uh, I did it now. Ok. Maybe Ángel. Ángel. Si no. I'll help you to end the, the list. Or maybe we can read to practice the pronunciation. I already yeah. have it solved. Only, only, only repeat, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe Maria Star. Mm -hmm. okay. can, be, can you can you start? Okay. Yeah, which is correct? Which is correct? There aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city. There aren't many two police officers in my city. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, continue or change? Uh, we can change. Okay, Angel, you want to try? Right? Yes, of course. Uh, number two, there is so, so much traffic, so the government needs to build more highways, fewer highways, and enough highways. Okay. You um, or or me, Andrea? Uh, I, uh, number sorry. three, which is correct. A, there are too much pollution in my city. Number B, there is too little pollution in my city. And number C, there is too much pollution in my city. Okay, and four, say, complete the statement. I can sleep at night. There shall be less noise, more noise, too, no, too much noise. Less noise. Uh, um, okay. Complete the following statement using quantity expressions. Too many, fewer, more. Make sure not to use capital letters or periods. The government needs to boil more highways. Okay. Okay. Nice. okay. It's over. We come come back. I don't know how to come back. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm too. You put salir de la sala. 
y te sale dos opciones, salir de la sala para grupos pequeños, sería. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde? Abajo, vaya, en la, del lado derecho, en esquina, en la esquina del lado derecho, pongan el cursor y sale salir de la sala, hay un botón. Lo presionan y le va a salir la opción, salir de la sala para grupos pequeños. Yo siempre que le doy así me salgo de... De verdad. Ah, sí, se me cuelga. En la sala completamente no me sale opción. Ah, me aparece por eso me el libro. Por eso libro. me da miedo. La... Ah, a mí sí me sale salir de la sala para grupos pequeños. ¿Cómo? Ah, de go. Hey. The last one, the five. Ah, en la número cinco. Yes. Cuatro. Is eight. eight. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have one participant is going to be Cindy Carolina. Okay. Number one. Number one, which is correct. And the answer is the second one. There aren't enough police officers in my city. Perfect. There aren't enough police officers in my city. Number two, Nayeli. Okay, um, there is too much traffic. So the government needs to build, and the answer is the second one, the, the first one, more highways. More highways. Good, good. Number three, Andrea Esmeralda. Number three, Andrea is not there. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver, Denis Adonai, number three, Denis Adonai. Ok, tampoco está ahí, vamos a ver, Andrea, ah, ok, ok, go ahead, Kenya Roxana, number two. Uh, please read the question and read the response. Kenya, Roxana. Leo la número tres. Sí, me gustaría que lea la pregunta y lea la respuesta. Which is correct? There is too much pollution in my city. Very good. Repeat, please. Pollution. 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 There is too much pollution in my city. Excellent. Excellent. Number four. Catherine Joanna. Hello. Hello. Number four, please. The correct statement, right? Complete the statement, correct. Number four. I can sleep at night. There should be less noise. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Quieren que les comparta algo que me acuerda de esta oración. I can't sleep at night. There should be less noise. Yes, please. Uh, okay. Yes, please. So, so, so in the house where I live right now, uh, next on this side is one house. And over here on this side is another house. And yeah. each house has a rooster. A rooster. A rooster. <laughs> Cada casa, aquí en los dos lados, uno acá y otro acá. Tiene su, propio, nice. <laughs> tiene su propio rooster. So, so I gave up, you know, I gave up. I put my alarm at 4.45 
because at <laughs> five o'clock, I know that both roosters on both sides are gonna make a lot of noise. So I can't yeah. sleep. Uh huh. So I, I can't sleep. So I just wake up and I go. Yeah. I go the exercise. Wake up. <laughs> wake up. Yeah. Ya me di por vencida. En vez de, en vez de pelear con ellos, mejor me levanto con ellos. Ya les gané. <laughs> if, you can't, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> you can start. <laughs> I start my day very early, like a rooster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. All right. Uh, number five, uh, Luis. Okay. Complete the following state statement using quanti quantity expression to many fewer more make uh, make sure not to use capital capital letter or periods the govern government needs to build Build, 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 more highways. Build, build. La U, build. Cuando vean dos vocales juntas, así, la U y la I, dos vocales juntas, solo una se pronuncia normalmente. En este caso sería B. Build. Yeah. Build. build. Okay. The government needs to build uh, more highways. More highways. highways. Good, good. Ding, ding, ding. Excellent. 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 Good job. All good right. Job. Good job. Okay. Any questions about this activity? Any questions about this activity? It's clear, teacher. Okay. It a teacher. Yes, Rebecca, what's going on? I have a uh, observation um, en las siguientes eh, secciones hay unos audios que no están descargados. Oh, really? Eso, ¿Cuáles son? En la sección 3 y la 4. Eh, ¿Cree que después de la clase me puede mandar la captura de pantalla de esas secciones para yo reportarlo? Sí, eso estaba viendo. Este que hay unas eh, en la sección 3 y en la sección 4 hay unos listening que eh, tiene audio, pero no están descargados. No sé cómo piensan que lo podemos escuchar, no sé, porque son listening y, y pues así no, no difícilmente se va a lograr avanzar, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Eh, ¿Me puede mandar captura de pantalla del ejercicio para yo poder reportarlo y, y que lo arreglen lo más pronto posible? Bueno, está bien, ok. Por favor, muchas gracias. Ok, number 2.7. 2.7. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And 
Can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or... Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be. And we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we will do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right, and then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case, I'll ask where. This is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case, it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and then finally, we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now, let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there talking about where are the restrooms? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verb. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this um, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows a WH word. So in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's going to change now. And instead of saying, the bank, we're not going to say the restrooms. And then it's going to follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present. We could be talking about the past. And that's what it means by either do or did. So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay, what we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. And again, we can use the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's 
similar thing could you tell me and we're going to use uh, the uh, WH question so in this case is going to be how often all right and then that is followed by the subject so in this case the subject is the buses and then that is followed by the verb and so in this case it's no longer the verb to be but now it's the verb leave how often do the buses leave could you tell me how often the buses leave let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom so in this case what we want to do is we want to use a polite way of asking so you can ask in the form of could you tell me do you know can you tell me um, and then it just repeats itself with do you know so in this case we're gonna use do you know that's the second question there do you know what time the bank opens so let me go ahead and write that example now do you know that follows the WH word so in this case is what time then that follows the subject and one thing that I want you to notice here is that in our indirect question we remove the auxiliary verb so we don't include does or do it no longer exists in our indirect question do you know what time the bank opens and the other thing that happens here is that the verb in this case will need to have an s and that's because since we don't have an auxiliary verb and the subject of the verb is singular and we're talking in the present therefore we need an s as you can see there and uh, well let's do the last one there uh, what um, when did flight 566 arrive so in that case um, the question could be do you know and the WH word is when and uh, the subject is flight 566 And in this case, we have to change the verb to the past because we're not, we're not using an auxiliary. Uh, like we're using the auxiliary, when did fly 566 arrive? In this case, this verb is in the present, but that's because we're using the auxiliary did. So in this case, since we removed that auxiliary verb that I mentioned, we need to change that verb to the past form. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to practice the concepts that we talked about and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some questions here these are common questions that people ask whenever they visit another country another city a place you're not familiar with what are those questions for example how much do taxes cost and remember that our goal is to change this direct questions into indirect questions and you're going to follow this formula that I gave you so how much do taxes cost well you're going to use do you know or could you tell me or can you tell me and then follow this formula all right guys i know that that was a kind of a long uh, video but you guys got to practice that topic uh we have finished for today please continue working on the platform and we will see you back on monday have a good weekend guys good night you too good night thank you Bye, everybody bye, -bye. bye. see you see you take care